All right, what's up, Paw Squad, and happy Friday. So, yes, I'm finally back. Two days in a row, baby, I got home making reactions. I promise y'all I'd do these recaps today, so I won't have to do them next week because next week is going to be a clean slate of reactions. And already it's almost the end of February, which is crazy because March 1st marks my second year of reactions, y'all. So I can't believe it's been two years. Two years I've been doing reactions, man. It's been a blast. It's been an absolute blast, man. So I thank y'all subscribers so much for... um. Subscribe to my channel, seeing all the reactions, everything from January to December, all the, within these last two years, you know, I haven't been really been into the reaction gig growing up, but come think of it, two years later, I've been loving doing this, so thank y'all guys, Talk Squad, so much for subscribing, y'all, y'all appreciate, y'all support, really, really appreciate it, I really appreciate y'all support, so, batch recap, so yes, the first recap I'm going to do is Cool Ono 9's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 version with um, Megan Fox and Bruce Michael Bay, I believe. And it's called The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Did Not Give Shredder the Faith on the 101. So, for the first time ever, I'm going to do a Philly on Mars recap. Yes, that's right, Philly on Mars, man. I love his videos so much. And finally, I get a chance to react to it. So, this is his Cars recap. And it's called Why Lightning McQueen is the Goat of All Sports. So, not only that, I have a super blank and two Zephi recaps. Yes, three more to go. So the first one is actually, this is actually a collab of Zephi with uh, Super Blank, by the way. And this is called Why Are These the Coldest Characters in All of Fiction? So I'm very excited to see that. And not only that, Blank Boy is collaborating with Zephi with another one for his Avengers of Ultron recap. And it's called When Ultron Disassembled the Avengers. And solo, you know, Zeth Fire, this is this is him doing by himself. This first Justice League recap and it's called How Seth and Wolf Made the Frog League Lose Their Own Movie. Hilarious title, by the way. So Hot Squad, this is gonna be a hell of a day, a recap day. It's Friday, let's have some fun. So without further ado, let's check out who Uno 9's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles recap right here, right now. Let's check it out, shall we? It's about to go down. So my man Shredder pulls up on a normal size New York rat and he's like, hey man, you see him squabble. <laughs> normal size New York rat. Even, and I'm going to take the mutagen and get up out of here. Master Splitter said, um, I don't feel I like, feel like catch up a sword and they start boxing. But before we get down to the nitty gritty, peep my man Shredder's fit, bro. 2014 <laughs> Shredder goes hard as hell for no reason. Bro, looks like if Megatron had a baby with a cheeseburger <laughs> and came out the hardest design ever. Yeah, but yeah, it was fighting for his and his son's life. My man Splinter said, I got to put on for the hole. With <laughs> one hand, he starts casually blocking all the Shredder's attacks with his sword. Who does he think he is? Bro was hoping someone was around to take the fit pick. So he can show all the New York rat shorties how he get down for real. <laughs> right. After Splinter get done deflecting all the Shredder's attacks, he kicks him away. And then Shredder says, very good. Who does bro think he is, bro? Typical ass villain for real. <laughs> and then we switch perspective to see Raphael's anger ass handling business, getting rid of all these intruders. And then we see Megan Fox. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is... Can Machine Gun Kelly fight? Because you know, <laughs> like, I don't want to Ever since I saw it for the first time in Transformers, bro, I was locked in. Hell yeah. To the one. Hell sure yeah. Those people on Splinter and Shredder Shit. running the ones. And my man Splinter is flexing on Shredder right now. I'm talking about he backflipped to dodge. But yeah, he's right. Cool Ono is right. Cool Ono is right. Because, yeah, Megan Fox. Woo wee. Huge crush on her since the first Transformers, man. My God. And also, I'm hearing the Persona 4 back, um, music in the background. Love the background um, music, man. Shredder strike. He hit him with a donkey kick. And while he still has his back turned to Shredder, he's blocking his attacks with his sword? And this is why I don't ever want to go to New York for real. They got rats like Splinter just walking the sidewalks like it's a regular. Hey, what's this dog, yo? Because what the hell am I supposed to do when I'm eating a slice of pizza in New York? And Splinter pulls up on me. I'm now in the London robbery simulator. But Splinter is the combo off by hitting Shredder in the leg, making him do the doggy style. But this is why 2014 gotta be top five coolest Shredders ever. Because bro gets up and then he just starts flinging all the blades on his armor. As Splinter. Splinter deflected one midair. But 2014, this came out, wow, 10 years ago, y'all. Then he dropped down, deflected another one as soon as he hit the ground. But Shredder was on that ass because he pulled up on bro, gripped him up by his tail, was finna cook him. 
but Splinter is well versed to tell Kata as he smacks the <laughs> piss out of Shredder with his tail. I'm talking about drop this big ass dude down to the ground. But he got up and started flinging more blades at Splinter. Damn. But Splinter been watching too many X-Men movies because he saw Magneto's ability one time and said yes. <laughs> he got magnet gauntlets and has all the blades that he threw at Splinter come right back at him. <laughs> My man Splinter narrowly escaped with his life dodging those blades. <laughs> as soon as Splinter came down, he tried to whip Shredder with his tail. <laughs> but Shredder dodged the first tail strike, but he did not see the other one as it wrapped around his neck and turned him to the ground. <laughs> Splinter saw Shredder on the ground and said, oh yeah, it's free eats. He jumped up on bro trying to stab him in the eye. Ooh. Bro, he wanted a fatality on my mans. Splinter be going crazy whenever the boys ain't watching him fight because why did he try to stab him right there? <laughs> but Shredder said that's enough of this and he slammed the mess out of Splinter to the ground. <laughs> We then go see what the other turtles are doing. And Leonardo sees Splinter is about to get the pots and pans put to him. And he tries to go help his father. But then Shredder's grunt starts jumping Leonardo with lightning. I'm talking about they are cooking my mans right now. Donatello is also trying his best. But he's dodging these tranquilizer darts trying not to go to sleep. And then he switch back to the Splinter Shredder squabbles. And God damn. This man Shredder just punted the mess out of Splinter like he was a goddamn football. <laughs> Shredder then just started tossing Splinter around like a rag doll. April sees this. She's like, oh nah. Can't let that one slide. She grabs one of Raph's kunais and stabs Shredder right in the back. Shredder <laughs> turned around and him and Splinter in unison say, bitch, are you dumb or something? Splinter <laughs> had to yoke April up with his tail and get her up out of there. And Shredder's like, with that minor inconvenience out of the way, I'm gonna continue to throw you around her house like a rag doll. <laughs> but the turtles saw their dad getting thrashed and they're like, oh no, we cannot let this slide. But Master Splinter locked them out Told them to go save themselves, but to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, Splinter, you were doing kinda alright by yourself. <laughs> it's just kinda funny to think that bro got slammed down on the ground one time. It was like, damn, nobody here can beat Shredder. Not the <laughs> five of us jumping them, just nobody here can beat him, period. But after <laughs> a brief respite, Shredder gets back to throwing Splinter around like a rag doll. And Shredder keeps on throwing Splinter around the sewer. And the crazy part is, man, this is Splinter's own home. It's just crazy to think he let this grown ass man come <laughs> to his house, beat him up, and almost beat up his kid. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> And then Shredder decides to violate. He throws Splinter up Damn. and he hits this mm. beam. He comes down and Shredder got a mess out of Splinter. Me and ass punch, man. Bro, dude flips in the air and everything landed back on the ground. Mm. The Turks finally open the gate, but they pull up on Splinter and Shredder hems him up by the back of his collar. Says, drop your weapons or I'm going to boom your dad. Mm. Leo, Mikey, and Donnie drop their weapons and Shredder bones Splinter anyways and has his grunts electrocute those three turtles. Shredder then asks where the fourth turtle was, and one of his grunts says he's dead, and then Shredder tells his grunts to blow up the place. Shredder really hmm. pulled up in the turtles' houses, killed their dad, and blew up their home. Hmm. The only mistake Shredder made was leaving the turtles alive, because their get back is finna be generational. Hmm. Fast forward to the end of the damn movie, and the turtles pull up on Shredder for the final time, getting ready to run the fade. Mikey and Raph started off first. They pull up on Shredder and they both get kicked in the jaw Damn. for their troubles. Then Leo pulls up and he gets stuffed in his chest and slammed on the ground. Shredder must hate the color blue because he stomped Leo in the stomach and was getting ready to pummel bro if he didn't dodge. But then he picked him up and then tossed him off his building. Donnie pulls up with his bow staff and then Shredder decides to make a double blade out of his blades. Hmm. And to be completely honest, Donnie was putting up a better fight than the other three because he lasted five seconds and the other three didn't <laughs> last two. After five seconds. But Shredder bumped his ass Damn. away and here comes Michelangelo's goofy ass trying to do something. <laughs> but Shredder don't got time for any of that BS. He grabs one of Mikey's arms and then he grabs the other one and flings him 30 hmm. feet. But before he flung him, he disarmed him with one of his nunchucks and Raph pulled up, got bonked in the knee one more time in the forehead for good luck. But Big Shredder was in fact not done with the combo. <laughs> leg swept Raphael, having bro do 360 spins in the middle of the air. And with his big ass foot, he put the tip of his shoe into Raph's lower intestine. Dropping bro off the building. <laughs> He's Damn. the turtles in the turtle soup. He is doing them dirty. Mm. Donatello was hanging off the edge of the roof with his bow staff. The Shredder decided to cut it in half, dropping him down. And then the turtles all do this team bonding exercise as pull up, <laughs> pulling everybody up from off the edge of this building. And then they get to work. Leo and Donnie come up first, and then they pull up on Shredder, and Shredder is blocking and deflecting all their attacks. And then he backhands Donnie, and then Shredder hits Leo with his spinning back kick, knocking bro right on his ass. And while Leo was on the ground, Shredder was finna kill the mess out of bro, but then Raph pulled up and saved his brother right in the nick of time. That's a good shot. Raph tries to get a couple licks off on Shredder, but Shredder dodges <laughs> both of them and bats bro right <laughs> in the face. 
and then Shredder grabs Leo by the leg and just flips him. I don't even know why he did that. He was just doing stuff to be doing it. But Leo gets back up. Shredder jumps up trying to attack Leo, but he blocks the strike, and Shredder is going to kick the mess out of bro in the sternum, but he dodged the kick and had no follow-up after that. He kicked him right in the sternum. But after they got their ass beat for the 14th time, the Turtles regroup and like, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe we should start thinking about what we do before we fight Shredder. So they decide to play this childhood game to beat Shredder's ass. And it's doing something because Leo pulls up. He tries to strike Shredder with his sword, but Shredder blocks it. But then here comes Michelangelo jumping off of Leo's back and kicking Shredder right in the jaw. And Donnie comes jumping over Leo and Mikey sweeping Shredder's legs with his bow staff. And Raphael pulls up, jumping off of Leo, Mikey, and Donnie, who propel her up into the air to kick the ever-living mess out of Shredder. Ooh, I'm talking damn. about that kick sent old dude. Cowabunga. Fine. While Shredder's knocked off this building, Donnie decides, all right, I'm going to stop the mutagen from spreading all over the city. But Shredder pulls up, and he starts throwing them bangs at the Ooh. turtles. While Raph, Leo, and Mikey are blocking the blades, giving Donnie the time he needs. Donatello with a buzzer beater mutagen stoppage, but Shredder's like, damn, that's crazy. But anyway, <laughs> the turtles try to stop the spire from falling down to the streets. And Shredder, lame ass, pulls up on Leo and just jabs him in the stomach all the time. But April pulls up to the roof with the mutagen, and I don't know why Shredder did this, but he bum brushed her, knocked both of them off the building just to grab the mutagen. Bro, brain cells might have been a bit scrambled from getting yeah. kicked in the head four times. Yeah. Like six foot turtles. And now the Teenage Milkman Ninja Turtles got to <laughs> save April. And Shredder's evil ass doesn't even have to do any of this, bro. Because he's just throwing knives at April. He already got the mutagen. All he got to do is pull himself up and he won. But he threw these knives at April, making her let go of the spire, having her drop down. But the Turtles all grab each other's legs just so they have enough leverage to save April. And Shredder's evil ass, again, he doesn't even have to do any of this anymore. <laughs> Starts throwing knives at Mikey. And this is what this yeah. evil ass bum gets, bro. Because Mikey deflected the sword and it came back and hit Shredder right in the chest. <laughs> Shredder takes the knife out of his chest just to get a katana in the chest, throwing them by Leo. And then the turtle starts swinging and April kicks Shredder off of him. Yeah, fetch off. Him all the way down to the ground. Kill him, bro. And how are you, Shredder? Martial arts masters <laughs> Seriously. get done in by white girls size 8 shoe. But that's the uh, fight. The turtles killed Shredder. Moral of the story is <clears throat> don't be an evil ass nigga, bro. But with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. And if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> good morning, story, though. It's true. <clears throat> All right. That Persona 4 music, though, that's that, um, isn't it, man? Persona 4 Golden was one of my favorite games of all time when I first played on the PS Vita. Whew, such good memories playing it back in high school. But yeah, man, great recap, Cool Uno. Uh, it's been a, it has been so long I have actually seen the 2014 TMNT movie. I think last time I seen it, I did kind of liked it, but I didn't hate it. Out of Shadows was okay as well, you know, but I know, you know, it got in some pretty bad, um, Pretty bad reviews. Both of them really did got bad reviews, but Out of Shadows got slightly better, but it's not like a fantastic movie ever. But, you know, it was, you know, just like a turn your brain off type movie, right? And also, I need to see Mutant Mayhem so badly because I heard it was really good. Like, damn it, I've been missed out on Mutant Mayhem, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta clear my throat. But yeah, oh uh, yeah. Great recap, Cool 109. Awesome recap. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of Cool 109's TMNT. Recap. So if you enjoyed this, please hit that button. Comment, share, share thoughts. What's your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? Who's your favorite character? Um, have you seen Mutant Mayhem? Please comment and let me know how it is. I heard it was really good things. And I think it was on Prime Video, I believe, and Paramount Plus. Well, we'll check it out hopefully this weekend. So yeah, definitely will. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my Failure on Mars recap reaction of Cars, which I'm very excited to see. I know it's going to be absolutely hilarious. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.